hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this upbound logo animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of adobe photoshop and adobe after effects and if you want to learn more about logo animation motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started here we are in adobe photoshop now i have this uh, photoshop file of uh, about logo which is in the png format and i want each and every layer on the separated layer so now i'm going to select my rectangle tool and i'm going to select this d over, over here hit ctrl x create a new layer and press ctrl shift v on the another layer same procedure i'll fo follow for all of this alphabet simply select this layer select this end with the help of a rectangle tool hit ctrl x to cut it out create a new layer and press ctrl shift v to paste in place okay so let's do this procedure for all of this alphabets i'll do it a little bit faster okay so i have created this logo let's go to the adobe after effects create a new composition we will call it as main animation like always we do width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is one minute long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection press ctrl i on your keyboard to import my photoshop file i'll select this photoshop file as an import as i'll choose composition return layers and sizes and simply hit import and hit ok then we will double click to open this composition we will select all of these alphabets and we will hit ctrl c to copy them i'll go to the main animation and i'll press ctrl v then right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit then press p for position let's bring this over here and let's bring this downwards and simply delete this null object okay now first of all uh, we need to animate this o and this this o and this b so let's do that simply select all of them and bring them at the top let's hide all of them i'm going to select this alphabets and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll bring them at the top and i'll change the color of this one to yellow and these two over here i'm going to change the color of this one to red because this red one are my reference layers so i'll lock them uh, and uh, you can simply select those red layers press t for opacity and let's make the opacity 10 and lock them because they are going to be my reference layer and this one is someone which i'm going to animate okay now let's uh, animate both of this so select both of them and press p for position create one keyframe go somewhere around 20 frames create another keyframe and go to around one second again create another keyframe now go to the start and simply bring this by holding shift out of this composition then go to around 25 frames we will simply move them over here like this okay now uh, let's move this a little bit over here now select those keyframes hit f9 uh, go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here hold shift and move one handle over here select this move one handle over here select this move one handle over here select this move this over here select this and move this over here so if i see this animation i'll get something like this let's go to around 25 frames and we will select this b and we will move this over here okay now i'm going to select this b hit page down button one time and create one keyframe at position and press r for rotation over here and hit u now i'm going to select this layer and i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer and hit u uh, and we will uh, bring this layer at the top 
and we are going to delete all of this keyframes which i have created before okay and then select this and press y for pen behind tool over here and we will bring the uh, anchor point of this b at this point then we will go somewhere around two second i'll select this uh, i'll rotate it like this and i'll move this over here okay then select those keyframe and hit f9 like this okay then we'll go to the graph editor i'll select this graph by holding shift i'll move this over here and we'll move this over here like this okay then again i'll select this hit page down button one time create one keyframe at position and one keyframe at rotation go few frame forward let's rotate it like this and let's bring down the position downwards and go few frame forward and let's uh, rotate it like this okay and create one keyframe at position again and let's move this a little bit upward now uh, i'm going to select those three keyframes i'll go to the graph editor first of all hit f9 then select this by holding shift move one handle over here <coughs> move one handle over here select this move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here So if I see I'll get this kind of animation now select those three keyframes and by holding alt I'm going to reduce the duration of it so I'll get something like this then after a few frames I'm going to copy simply this initial keyframe hit ctrl C ctrl V like this okay let's move this a little bit forward and over here at three second i'll copy this keyframes and let's move this a little bit over here and select those keyframe and hit f9 okay <coughs> so if i see this animation i'll get this like this now at this point I'm going to select all of this remaining alphabets I'll enable their layers and I'll simply bring them over here press P for position select all of their respective positions right click and choose separate dimensions create one keyframe at X and one keyframe at Y then press R for rotation uh, over here and hit U go few frame forward and I'll create another keyframe at uh, x rotation y uh, i mean x position y position and rotation at the start i'm gonna go in my align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and i'll simply bring them somewhere over here and in middle of that i'll change the y position of each and every one somewhere around over here and at this point i'm going to change the rotation to one second like this then i'll go few frame forward i'll create one keyframe at y and in middle of that i'm going to change the one keyframe or position y position over here now in search option i'll type y only so i'll get can see only y position keyframes i'm going to select those keyframes and i'm going to hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift to move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here select this move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here zoom in select this move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here select this move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here so if i see this i'll get this kind of stuff then go to the start press s create one keyframe hit u go over here create another keyframe and initially let's bring the scale like this now this animation should start when they are going to you know this kind of animation happens over here so i'll bring all of them over at this point okay and let's uh, hide this i mean delete this reference layers we don't need that so if i see this animation i'll get this like this 
okay but uh, this animation should be happen one by one so i'll go over here i'll take page you know, down button one time or two times to take a distance of two two frames so i'll adjust it like this okay similarly when they are going when this p is going to you know collide with this o i need some animation for this o also so for that what we can do simply right click new and create one null object and make sure that it should be downwards and select this o and let's make it apparent with this null object then go somewhere around over here press s unlink this create one keyframe hit page down button and let's bring this o downwards hit page down button copy the first keyframe ctrl c ctrl v again so we'll get something like this so if i see this animation now and simply by hitting ctrl a i'm going to enable the motion blur so, and now if i see this i'll get this kind of simple animation so this is how you can create this kind of uh, a bound logo animation like a pro inside of after effects